Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we'll go through step 15 of the SAP UI5 walkthrough series and we will discuss about nested views. So now in our application at this point of time, we have one view, which is our app.view.xml file, which we can see here. This is one XML view we have, which holds all the controls which we are displaying in our UI5 application screen. In this, in this step, what we are going to do is we are going to create a separate view. And in that separate view, we are going to put all the controls which we have inside our panel. And we'll put all these controls in the, in the new view. And we are going to nest that new view inside our app.view.xml file. With this approach, we are going to make our application structure more modular. It becomes more easier to understand and easier to troubleshoot also. There will be no visual changes in the look and feel of the application. Only code changes we will be doing, which will make our application more modular. So we can see here, this is how our app.view.xml file uh, currently looks like with all the contents placed inside one view file. Now, what we are going to do is, this is our new app.view.xml file. And here we are referring to the new view, which we will be creating in our application. We refer to the new view using this XML view tab. And in the view name property, we provide the location or the path of the new view, which we will be creating. So we have a new view now in our application, which is the hello panel view.xml file. And if you see in our app.view.xml file, we are referring to our hello panel view XML. And this is our hello panel.view.xml file. And in this view, we have placed all the contents of the panel control. We also specify the controller name for our view. And the controller name is uh, hello panel.controller.js, which basically resides inside our controller folder. So this is our new hello panel.controller uh, file. And uh, this is basically points to our hello panel view. And uh, inside this controller file, we have placed the code for uh, event handling of our button control. Now, because we have placed our button control inside our hello panel view. So we are handling the event for this particular button control inside our hello panel controller. So we have moved the contents of the app.controller file inside our hello panel.controller.js file. So our app controller file now looks like this. And this is our hello panel controller file. And uh, this is our new view, which holds the contents of our panel control. So this is what has been explained in uh, step number 15. It's uh, just that we have introduced the concept of nested views now, so that uh, when we create a more real world applications, uh, we will be having more, more and more complex views. So it is better to uh, use the concept of nested views to keep your application uh, modular, which makes it very easier to understand. That's all for this step. In the next video, we will go through step 16 and understand about di dialogues and fragments. Thank you for watching the video and have a nice day.